Hey guys, Justin, DX1, 5180 in Oklahoma. Gotta go do a bunch of shit today. Uh, but anyways, I wanted to make a little quick video on DC grounded antennas and uh, why you can't use your continuity test at the feed point to ground and all that on them and the reason why they show shorts. So... I see a lot of people taking the taking the uh, continuity meter or ohm meter, and I'll have to bat, and testing their feed points of their DC grounded antennas, and then flipping out, thinking that it's shorted. And Lord have mercy, uh, a DC grounded antenna will always read a short, guys. Shit, always, uh, because it sources a path to ground at the center conductor always so anytime you take and do a continuity test from the center conductor at the were you going to close that so it don't fill up with water I I did. and uh anyways that uh got a the reason why that they uh short like that when you try to test them is because they allow a path to ground and the reason why that they have a path to ground there uh, one thing you need to understand that the ground is in DC so an antenna like that all antennas DC grounded all antennas are working AC uh, the RF the energy that you're that's going through the antenna and the way that the antenna fluxes is an AC. So, a DC grounded antenna, when you do a, con a continuity test, it will always read a short. Hopefully that will help you. The antenna is working. If it's, when your DC grounded antenna reads a short, it's right. I want to make that clear. And uh, It's actually what you're looking for. <laughs> to make sure that the feed point and the matching network is right, it should always breed as a short. Be good, guys.